Hi, this is Kim from Dorothy's Daughter. Welcome to my channel. On this channel, we talk about everything in the world of sewing and crafts. So if you're new here and you like what you see, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me. Maybe give me a thumbs up. Those are ways that YouTube knows what channels to send people to. So it really helps me out a lot. So today we're talking about color combinations in fashion and sewing. Have you ever asked yourself, do these colors look good together? I do. I mean, all the time. Um, or do, have you said, I want to color block, but I have no idea how to put an outfit together? Then this video is for you. So why color? Uh, it helps communicate emotions, image, creates interest, and it can be a lot of fun. So most people want to put forth a great image to the world. So let's start with how colors factor in how you look. I know I really do care sometimes about what image I'm portraying to the world. So let's start with how colors affect your image and factor in how you look to the world. Most of us want to portray a pretty good image to the world, myself included. So let's start with how colors factor in how you look. Dark colors can be slimming, while light colors can make you look a bit larger. So when you combine colors, you want to factor this in to enhance your look. For example, if you're larger on the bottom, you want to wear a darker pant or skirt with a lighter top. Warmer colors like yellows and oranges make you appear larger, while cooler colors make you appear smaller. So here's a little rundown of the hues that evoke certain feelings. And this is just kind of from the research that I did online. So red is for excitement or danger, energy, courage, strength, anger. Orange is for creativity, enthusiasm, health, happiness, encouragement, and balance. Yellow is sunshine, hope, optimism, light and positivity, and also freshness. Green is for health, nature, renewal, generosity, freshness, and environment. Blue evokes freedom, trust, expansiveness, dependability, faith, and inspiration. I know I've heard that people uh, say that you should wear blue to a job interview, and I can see why if this is the case. Purple then also evokes royalty, luxury, power, pride, creativity, and mystery. Warm colors usually create energy and excitement and evoke a lot of passion, while cool colors really can calm and relax you. So here's some very basic color theory. I'm not going to go into deep details, but just enough that you can use this information to help you when you go pick out fabric or um, mix and match the, what you have in your stash. So this is the color wheel. The color wheel is a tool that artists use or anyone who works with color. It tells you what colors can go together, what colors are next to each other, and there are certain ways you can combine the colors on the color wheel to evoke certain pleasant color palettes. So the first one is complementary colors. All right, see the arrows there? That shows you that the ones that are directly across from each other, those are the complementary colors. So for instance, purple and green is a complementary combination. Uh, red and teal is another one. Complementary colors also kind of evoke a bold statement, and so you really shouldn't use them equally. They kind of take over for each other and compete for attention. So if you make one a little bit more of a subdued shade and the other one brighter as a pop, it will definitely uh, look a lot better. Another thing you can do is to learn from nature. So complementary colors exist in nature, like um, the blue ocean next to the orange coral, or the lavender against green foliage. Now the next kind are analogous colors. So these colors are right next to each other on the color wheel. They're harmonious, they invoke serenity and peace, and they're really frequent in nature. 
So that's one way. One way to know what colors go together is to go look and see what God has already put together. And uh, analogous colors are used quite a bit in nature. However, with this combination, you should also choose a dominant color and the other two should just be kind of highlighting or supporting that original color. In a moment, I'm gonna show you a great online tool that makes all of this extremely easy. But first, I just wanna invite you to like and subscribe to this page. Do you know that 63% of all the people who watch this channel are not subscribed? And so I would really love it if you would hit that subscribe button. It would help me a lot and it lets YouTube know that this channel's doing okay. Canva has a color wheel tool, and if you go right up here, you'll see there's a QR code, and you can scan that, and it'll take you on the web straight to that tool. So basically, it goes through all the things I already told you, but you can actually put in your own colors and see what goes with what. So I'm going to show you that on my computer right now. The Canva color tool, okay? So... We have four different options here and they all have their use. So if you take the color palette generator, this is one that you can use in order to um, take, grab the colors out of a photo. So if you wanted to, um, you, you really like the colors in a nature scene, you could just go ahead and snap a picture of it, put, pull it up here on Canva and it would grab the colors from it. Uh, another one, they have some color palette ideas, so you can see this here. They've got some already done for you, all the way up to 99 pages. So if you're starting from scratch, this is a great place to look. And then you, they have the color wheel. So with this one, it, I think is really useful. So let's say you want to do a purple. Let's make it more purple, purple. A, like a darker purple and you want to know kind of what to put with it okay so another thing you can do is use this color palette generator let's say you have a print and you want to pull all the colors out of that print so you can coordinate some things or find a little piece to color block what you could do is upload a photo and it will grab the color palette from that photo or even if you just have a nature picture that you just really like the colors in something or if you're looking to coordinate some couch pillows you could photograph some art on your wall um, that kind of thing so I have taken a photograph of a piece of fabric that I have that I, I'll show you when this is over but we're gonna go ahead and upload this image and here is my photo and this is the fabric that I have here with the sunflowers and the daisies. And here it's pulled out all of the colors or a lot of them. All right. And yeah, so these four colors I could use to pull out of there. So that gives you an idea of how you could use this in your um, wardrobe planning or in your color blocking or putting outfits together or however you want to. And if you don't like any of those, you can come down here and um, explore these color combinations as well. So it'll always suggest some as well. That is um, basically how you use that. And then it has explanation of the things I was telling you about with the complementary colors being the ones that are across from each other monochromatic being different um, different intensities i guess or uh, tones of the th one color analogous would be three in a row on the color wheel so you know right next to each other and triadic would be in a, making a triangle and tetradic would be making a, I guess, diamond. All right, and then it goes into primary. This is more advanced um, 
color theory you can read up on. I would have covered all this. If you want me to go into this more, leave me a comment. I can make another video that goes deeper into color theory if you would like me to. But it, there is a, quite a lot on this website that you can read. And this website, I believe this part of Canva is free. I don't know if you can actually download what you create with the um, color palette. So if I want to export this palette um, as a PDF, I can because I have a membership and this is how it would print. Or if might not be able to export it, it if you don't have a Canva membership. But um, you can definitely, I think, go in here and play with the colors without having to do that. And you can always snap a screenshot if you need to. All right, this is more if, if you wanna use them in print things, but it's very useful. You can always, you know, pr print this out, take it to the fabric store if you're looking for ideas of things to put together like in a color blocking pattern or in a top and pants or um, in a blazer top and slacks you know anything like that you can go ahead and do that all right so here's some examples from my fabric stash all right let me show you here's that sunflower fabric that we were talking about so let me show you the colors that they had suggested or a few of them anyway that would go with the sunflower fabric. And this is just out of my stash. And you see, hopefully you can see that well. All right, I can get out of frame here so you can see better. All right, so this is one way to just mix and match your stash. All right, you, you do wanna be careful though, like if you're color blocking, you wanna make sure that a knit goes with a knit, that kind of thing, but, um, but you know that. All right, here are the complementary colors. Here is the red and teal, the complementary colors from my stash. And here is a combo of four from the tetradic thing we did for purple. See the four colors here on my, from the color wheel. Let me also show you another piece of fabric that was in my stash. And I only wanted to match pants to this, so I pulled that up and chose this gold, which I think is gonna go really well. So basically, that's kinda how you can do the color blocking and use that Canva tool, which I think makes it really easy. And um, I have a subscription to Canva, but a lot of the tools they have on there are completely free. So you wanna check that out. I think you'll enjoy that. I also just want to remind you before we end here to join our Facebook group because on our Facebook group we have this growing community of about 2,000 or more and we share ideas, uh, answer each other's questions and if you get on there and you tag me on something in that Facebook group I will personally make sure that I answer you. Alright so go ahead and just join us because we would love to have you. All right, and also before I end, <laughs> don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Like I said, 63% of the people who watch this channel are not subscribed. So go ahead and click that button today and share this video with a friend if you think it's been helpful. All right, I just want to say thank you so much for joining me today. I see you in the next video. And also hold your loved ones close because life is really short. Have a great day. Happy sewing.